guys, one up Indie here coming with some really interesting stuff. So if you ever wanted to play Mega Man, good old Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and up to 11 games, uh, fan games for free, then I got good news for you. There's this thing which is called Mega Man Maker made in Game Maker Studio, but you don't need any program. You just go uh, just uh, well, in, uh, download that thing and then you can start it and then you can play levels of other guys or you can actually make your own levels, which is amazing. And there's of course no coding required. This is a self designing system. So basically everything is taking off from you. You can just play or do some drag and drop stuff and then, then just play some stuff and then boom, you can actually make your own levels, which is amazing. So this is, is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So here, this is of course a standalone. You don't have any, well, say in the engine, but if you just want to play or make your own levels, here you go, cool thing. So what you see basically in the, in the background is one of those levels. So if you actually want to have a peek inside one of those engines, then there are two. One is called Mega Max and the other one is a Mega Engine. First of all, Mega Max is quite extensive. It has tons of objects and things in there. So if you always wanted to have a peek inside, how such an engine could look like uh, go no further this is pretty cool little disclaimer from my part i wanted it to import to uh, game maker studio 2.3 uh, and it had some errors and, uh, and then basically i stopped because i don't want to fix that stuff not sure what the issue is but still if you want to look inside like hey how was the code for this enemy or how did they handle transition yada yada, yada then you can look inside then on the other hand we have the Mega Man engine, which is open source. But here, please, 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 if you use this one, even commercially, credit the creators. This is very important from my side. Of course, if you, for example, use the Mega Engine commercially in any kind of regard, first of all, you cannot use the sprites, this or the music. This should be a no, no, no from all the sides because Capcom is in this regard pretty cool. They say like, hey, if it's a fan game, no issue. You can use the sprite. You can use it as fan game. So basically, they have been Mega Man via Street Fighter, which was a fan game, and they released it. Or for example, Mega Man Rock Force or Mega Man Unlimited. Of course, there is the negative version. There was one dude which wanted to uh, well sell Rockman R, and he got taken down by a lawsuit because of copyright infringement. Because you cannot sell their own stuff uh, like this so here once again don't use their assets you can use the engine or for example the mega engine which is com completely fine but for example mega man mix this engine isn't completely uh, free so this one is just to look inside and you can use it privately and just check it out but you cannot use it in any commercial fashion so here once again just be aware of that but of course you can just check it out and see like hey uh, how is transition going on so how do they do the enemy ai and so on and so on that's pretty much it from my side just check it out links in the description below